We are the Resolute Consulting Firm, retained by CEO of Allergan, Mr. Brent Saunders. I'm Amanda Portillo. And I'm Eric Rawl. Our scope of engagement is to assist Allergan in a thorough re-evaluation of their stasis patent arrangement with the St. Regis Mohawk tribe. We have conducted a review of their current situation regarding restasis and can now provide a recommendation on how you, as our client, should proceed. Mr. Saunders, as I'm sure you are aware, public perception of the pharmaceutical industry has deteriorated in recent years due to lack of public trust and transparency. This has been compounded by pricing scandals, undisclosed health risks, and increased government intervention. The good news is, Allergan has remained more transparent than the average pharmaceutical company. Currently, Allergan is appealing a federal court ruling that invalidated multiple patents used by Restasis. Based on our consultation with experts in the legal community, we believe that the lower court's ruling will be upheld by the appellate court. Even in recognition of the patent loss of exclusivity, we believe that your company is in a sound and stable financial situation. We can now reevaluate your Restasis arrangement with the St. Regis Mohawk tribe. Our recommendation would be for Allergan to continue to pay the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe 1% of Restasis revenues up to $15 million a year for the remaining six years. This is in keeping with your company's commitments and core values and will also have a positive impact for all stakeholders, which Eric will now address. The decision that Allergan makes with regards to the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe will certainly affect all key stakeholders. The first stakeholder that we have identified would be the media. If the media perceives the arrangement with the St. Regis Mohawk tribe as unfair or exploitive, not only will Allergan be affected, but so will every other stakeholder. We have, also, we have also recognized the government as a key stakeholder. Some lawmakers bowing to public pressure are actively seeking ways to regulate the prices and practices of the pharmaceutical industry. If the government gets involved, all stakeholders will be negatively impacted. I would now like to turn your attention to the financial analysis which was the foundation of our recommendation. We first looked at the revenues that Restasis has generated for Allergan, as well as the original arrangement with the St. Regis Mohawk tribe. We recognized that at the very most, $15 million annual payments would be roughly equal to 1% of the revenues that Restasis gen or generates annually for Allergan. We decided to use this exact same formula to continue the arrangement with the St. Regis Mohawk tribe. 1% of Restasis revenues for the next six years. From our research, we have seen that Allergan has already taken the appropriate steps towards combating the loss of its patents on Restasis, including cutting costs. We have also taken a look at Allergan's earnings per share forecast for 2018 and recognized that the effect on earnings per share would be negligible. With, res with respect to not keeping commitments, there is so much more to lose than up to $15 million a year. Now, with regard to legal issues, the inter partes review and federal court rulings are certainly of relevance to our recommendation. However, to provide a recommendation with respect to these situations requires legal counsel with specific intellectual property expertise. We do, however, believe that the continued success of Allergan as an organization cannot be achieved without doing what is right and requires the keeping commitments to the St. Regis Mohawk tribe. Now, with regards to ethical concerns, it is important to remember that many people have a negative view of the pharmaceutical industry. But Allergan can rise above those negative perceptions by doing what is ethical concerning the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe. By allowing the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe to continue receiving revenues, even though not legally required, is taking care of the community, which is a key point in Allergan's social responsibility. Also, in a letter written to Congress in October 2017, written by the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe, this revenue would help mitigate budget shortfalls. We considered multiple strategies for Allergan to take regarding their commitment with the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe. For example, Allergan could sell or license the Restasis formula to a generic, success, to a generic manufacturer. They could also simply let the contract run its course. We did not find either of these strategies worth pursuing, though, because they did not meet minimum requirements for financial, ethical, or legal standards. 
our strategy is best based upon the utilitarian moral philosophy. By paying the St. Regis Mohawk tribe the revenues and in the initial contract, you would be taking care of the community and therefore important stakeholders. Also, along with our recommendation, we also recommend that Allergan continues to manufacture and sell Restasis or its generic successor at an affordable price. Doing so is in line with Allergan's social contract with patients, in which there is an emphasis to remain affordable and accessible to patients. It also states that Allergan will always do what is right concerning ethical conduct, and our recommendation shows that Allergan really will be doing what is right. The first step that we took was to review all options with regards to the patents on Restasis. We came into consensus that the patents would expire and therefore the arrangement with the St. Regis Mohawk tribe would therefore be invalid. We then reviewed Allergan's standing with the St. Regis Mohawk tribe, all publicly available financial statements, as well as ethical considerations to lastly decide upon a resolution that would please all stakeholders. So again, based on our analysis, we recommend that the best decision would be for Allergan to continue to pay the St. Regis Mohawk tribe 1% of the stasis or generic successor revenues up to $15 million a year for the remaining six years. This is the most ethical business decision, and it is also in accordance with Allergan's corporate governance, code of conduct, and social responsibility values. According to Allergan's code of conduct, living bold means always doing what is right. Some recorded examples include working with integrity and leading by example. A tangible way for Allergan to prove that they're living boldly would be to utilize their nonprofit foundation and its focus on health and human services. An example of this would be to offer restasis free of charge to the St. Regis Mohawk tribe for the remaining six years that was stated in the initial arrangement. In doing this, you will be setting a philanthropic trend for the pharmaceutical industry. Also, this will prove that Allergan is keeping with their core values and their commitments and will truly be living boldly. Thank you. Thank you.